We are in the middle of a debate about women and men and who cheats more. The fellas seem to think <laughs> the ladies' number is a lot higher. A study said that 13% of women, which total lie, 20% of men, total lie, it's way higher. She, <laughs> fellas, you were saying the percentage should be higher, ladies. We're not buying the 20%, are we? Absolutely not. It is what not is your percentage? Can, can, can y'all put it in the high? Just, we just yeah. established that it's di it's definitely different. It's a double standard for men to go out and have multiple relationships, right? I mean, that's just we 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 all know that. So that is like this okay thing. Like a man goes and cheats, and it's like, oh man, he goes and cheats. You know, it's 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 like a it's almost like encouraged sometimes. I feel like you know, it's like I'm cool. You know, like. I, I don't know, but that's just my take. It's it's definitely not the thirteen percent and twenty percent. Those numbers are way off. All right, can, can with, we get some numbers? With, can we get some I, numbers, Jay? Yeah, yeah, give us some in, numbers. <laughs> but women, like, we want to be in a relationship. We want mm -hmm. like stability. We want the relationship to work out. We want to be committed. That's just who we are by nature. So I just feel like. 13% and 20%, it's almost the same. That we got to take this so number up because women, I think y'all cheat and then left a relationship years ago in your mind. So we need to go and put that percentage in there because <laughs> I, I saw something that said, um, yeah, because y'all could be, y'all could be, my body's here, but my mind's on the other side of town. You're messing <laughs> me around. Come on, that's what women do. They already, it, it, and also, this is I what don't I think. Know men, what men will probably about. cheat. Men will cheat in the Talking moment. About. Women got another doggone man right now that is like, I want him to mess up. I'm going right over here right now. That's, I, I feel that that's facts. But I'm we, not sure who, what women you're referring to, because I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't, most <laughs> women that I know, all women that I know, we all think the same way. You know, it, it's who's thinking about another relationship and the, whatever you said. That's I could be wrong. I could black be wrong. women don't cheat, right, Caroline? Black women don't cheat. We don't black cheat. men don't cheat. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag women don't get caught. <laughs> no, but okay. especially, sorry, especially as you get older, right? Like, I'm trying to think of my friends in my age group, like, I feel like for women, even if you do have that mentality when you're younger, like by the time you're like 28, 29, you're just like not looking for that anymore. Whereas that seems not to go away with men. Tell me if I'm yes, wrong. Yes, I, 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 it, it does not go away with age. No, I, no, but I don't. I also don't think it should. Like we, I mean, Ooh, let me wait. let me uh, let, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. No, but I'm always going to be attracted to to women. I'm always going to be attracted. I'm I'm not going to pursue it, but I'm not going to pretend like I'm not attracted to this person. Okay. Like sometimes, like I'm with my wife, and she'll be like, "Yeah, I see you looking," and I was like. But I'm not going to do anything. That's where that talking and being forthcoming with everything, that's when that comes in. Can but I ask like, all this? Like, an example, like a lot of marriages will break up because the woman cheated. But it's like expected, like, oh my, if, if a, the man cheats, you should just forgive him and try to go to therapy and work it out. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's usually like if the woman cheats, oh my God, she cheated, have to divorce. No therapy, no, no nothing. That's you know, old school. That's the old school Monty, way. I, 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 Monty, I, I, could I you forgive your woman if she cheated on you? Could you, Say forgive again? Your, could you forgive your woman if she cheated on you? You know what? This is this is how uh, on the surface on the with surface. The no, no. With, with the, the uh, time out with the homie. They both they <laughs> the they, they they both go no no like no. like she gonna, <laughs> she gonna get cut off and he and he time. gonna get that two he gonna get that two piece in a biscuit. She gonna get cut off, but that's what we do it. But like. For real though, it's it's. I think the double standard that's one hundred percent, and I think the old school mentality because a lot of women I know are woke women, they're very intelligent women, so that stuff don't fly no more. But with me personally, I have to think like, okay, let's take marriage for example. If I've been married as long as my man, you said you've been married eight years, right, bro? Yep. So for me, I would have to if if I knew all the answers, right? Let's let's say if we were going through a rough time and she dipped out, not an affair. If you do it more than once, that's a conscious thing. There's no way in hell. But if you slipped up because of you allowed your feelings to get in the way and you're in a situation and you gave into your temptation, there's a there's a chance, a very small percentage, but there's a chance that if we've had a good eight year marriage, it's hard for me to balance eight years of prosperity and good time with one time of you giving up to your temptations. Now, 
the homie? Hell no. If it's an affair, <laughs> hell no. Like, no, there's, there's levels to it, but I just can't. It's like we all make mistakes in that situation. Now, I'm not saying I would. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of variables, but I can't say definitively, like, if you messed up, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't, I can't. For me, that doesn't, it doesn't make sense why you would jeopardize eight years of greatness for a moment of temptation. But it also, I can't completely dismiss the fact, like, we have eight years of prosperity versus one moment of weakness. We have a comment from Jen J. She said, happy to be a five piece. I value my solitude over a relationship. Nobody got to agree, but respect it. Not trying to pretend that's how I am. Respect. Okay. I'm too, I'm, I'm too paranoid. I don't believe in side pieces and I feel somebody going to get feelings and tell on somebody at some point. <laughs> now, would you take a man back? Say you had a, an eight year marriage and you know, everything else was great. Every, you know, in all areas, you had no idea and you found out your man, your husband or someone in a serious relationship with cheated on you. Would you take him back? Could you take him? I feel like, you know, you never know how you're going to feel in that moment because sometimes I feel like I'm a very emotional person. And so I, my worry would be that I wouldn't be able to let it go. Mm-hmm. But mm. my answer would be like, I wouldn't want to throw away a, I would, it, I would have to try. I think I would try, but I think it would be hard to let that go. And then it's like, as Monty said, yeah, it's a one-time thing. But then the next eight years, you've always got that thought in your head and yeah. You have to, I don't know, you have to see if you can really move on because you have to move on. Jennifer, what do you think about that? Do you think, and what about, if, what if you cheated? Do you think, how likely is it for a man to take his woman back once he knows? I mean, Monty spoke on it, but what, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I mean, if I was in an eight-year relationship, I mean, I, it, would, it would depend on the circumstances, right? I think um, I would try to forgive you know, and like you said, or like what Caroline said, I would try my best to, to try to forgive. Um, But, you know, I think um, it just depends on the the relationship. Because sometimes I think when you forgive, you know, then it gives them a license (laughs) to do it again. Mm. So I would be very concerned about that. Mm. You know, because, you know, then you kind of open that door to that. So I don't know. The, the, the same study also said, the survey said that men aren't smart about cheating, which is why they get caught. No, we're, I believe we're dumb that. as hell. We're I believe stupid. that. We're stupid. Facts. We are dumb. <laughs> Facts. Like, women, yeah. like, women, like, if if I think there's a woman's weakness, in my opinion, and greatest strength is your emotional vulnerability. Like, that's your greatest strength and your greatest weakness. Without that, is the world is ran by men, and it's a crazy, horrible place. Thank God we have women to kind of balance that out. But I feel like when you're talking about, like, the aspect of, like, cheating and stuff, when y'all decide to, because it's so easy. Like, I watched this thing on a show where you had a, and forgive me, I don't want to be dismissive, but what most would consider a basic-looking woman, right? One that wouldn't turn a head, just she's a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She went up to several random guys, eight out of the 10 dudes. She gave them a hotel key and was like, hey, meet me here. I want to have sex. Random dudes, eight out of 10 showed up. You can have a good looking dude, like the top notch and Denzel and his prime type stuff, go up to 10 women. If two, if two came up and actually did that, I would be shocked. Like y'all get... Y'all whole time, y'all just slapping dicks away like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want that, it. That and also gets into like safety and stuff. Suit. That yeah. also gets into like being like, I don't know what this is and I want to be protected. Like, I wouldn't do it if, if I, I'm like, nah, I think you're going to try to jump me or something for your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I, I like what you said about slapping dicks away. I think. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so easy. For, like, like, all three of y'all, y'all are beautiful. Like, all three of y'all are beautiful women. I'm not just saying that to gas you up. Y'all are incredibly we beautiful believe you. women. Yeah, yeah, good. Thank you. you. Like, Very much. Seriously. <laughs> like, y'all are beautiful women, so I can't imagine on a day-to-day basis, whether you go to the gym, whether you go to the store, and all these things, like, how much attention y'all get and how easy, if you wanted to step out of a relationship, there would it would be so easy for y'all. Like, even as a man, like, the opportunity, if I was that type of dude, I would, it would have to present itself. I would have to lie about my situation because most women still wouldn't want to. And I think I'm an attractive dude and I can charm the panties off of somebody, but I would still have to really like put in effort. Y'all don't have to put in effort. You can just, it's, it's crazy. And the Ladies. fact that y'all, 
It what, sounds or easy, not? but like you, I'm gonna go back to slapping the dicks away. A lot of times, those dicks are attached to crazy motherfuckers. Like they're, they're it's like it's just as hard for us. Like even being an attractive woman with a lot of willing participants, there's so much crazy out in this world. Like for real, so people. much crazy. Like so much crazy. Most girls been getting hit on since they're like what 13 years old, probably. Mm-hmm. Right, and we're like, no, thank you. 